Miracles are performed only by the Lord. I just offer prayers. I present him with my humble prayers for the people. And then it's the Madonna who intercedes for the miracle. When souls come and thank me, I say, you must not thank me, but the Madonna. No one can replace the Madonna and Jesus in performing miracles. Dear brothers and sisters, today I want to talk to you about the extraordinary gift of Natuza Evolo, the Italian mystic, who, in addition to bearing the stigmata of Christ's passion on her body, was able to encounter the souls of the departed during her lifetime and collect their messages to deliver to living relatives. The deceased confirmed to Natuza the existence of heaven, hell, and purgatory. Purgatory, according to what was conveyed to Natuza, is not a physical place, but an internal state of the soul that repents for its sins in the same earthly places where it lived and sinned, even in the homes where they resided during their lifetime. Sometimes, souls undergo their purgatory even within churches, after they've passed the most challenging phase of atonement. The sufferings of purgatory, although lessened by the comfort of the guardian angel, can be quite painful. To illustrate this, Natuza experienced a unique episode. She once saw a deceased person and asked him where he was. The dead individual responded that he was amidst the flames of purgatory, but Natuza, seeing him serene and calm, remarked that it couldn't be true judging by his appearance. The atoning soul explained that the flames of purgatory followed him wherever he went. While he spoke, Natuza saw the deceased's body engulfed in flames. Thinking it might be a hallucination, she approached him, only to be struck by the heat of the flames, which caused her an uncomfortable burn to the throat and mouth, preventing her from eating normally for a full 40 days. I see the souls in purgatory. I see the souls in heaven, and they speak to me. They give advice for their relatives still alive. And they tell me if they are suffering, if they need anything. It's them, the souls, who come to me, and they talk. But I cannot seek them out. They come on their own. They tell me they do so with God's permission. They are the ones who present themselves to me and ask. And they send messages for their relatives. They suffer from not seeing the Lord, they tell me because I have not gone to the other world to see for myself. Natuza encountered countless souls, both of renowned individuals and unknowns. There are numerous accounts of people who, thanks to her, received messages from long-lost relatives. One of the many cases is that of Don Silipo, who, despite his initial disbelief in Natuza's sincerity, asked to speak with Monsignor Morabito, who had died shortly before. Don Silipo entirely reassessed his stance on her honesty when the deep voice of Monsignor Morabito, a priest who had passed away not long before, told him through Natuza, I have known the blindness of this world. Now, I am in the beatific vision. Only Don Silipo knew about the temporary blindness that had struck the Monsignor a few days before his death. Another extraordinary case is the one recounted by Dorotea Ferreri. While she was speaking with her deceased husband through Natuza, she was forced to interrupt the conversation due to the interference of a child who had died in a road accident. The child warned that his mother would arrive soon, but his turn to speak prevented him from waiting any longer. A few minutes later, a noblewoman from a nearby small town indeed arrived wanting to speak with her son who had died in an accident. Natuza explained that the afterlife is something real and tangible and managed to convey this certainty to others. In this way, she strengthened many people's faith that life does not end, but continues. Natuza brought attention back to the importance of suffrage prayer for the souls of the departed, stating that a short prayer or a thought filled with love is enough. 
Natuza affirmed that our life does not end here on earth but continues. And she also reminded us that hell, purgatory and heaven exist. And we will be called to answer for our actions after death. Despite these abilities, Natuza never considered herself extraordinary but often compared herself to a worm. Many people come here to me who do not believe in God. Once, the Madonna made me a promise, telling me, exercise your patience, people come out of curiosity, and they will leave converted, not the first time, not the second, but I promise you, the third time they will convert. Natusa's testimony is genuinely unique. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. May God bless you.